Well, hello everyone, Dan Herbert, Dan Herbert Prospecting here. I am here at the Crater of Diamonds State Park. We got Pioneer Polly here, that camping couple. We're using a little bit of this. Beautiful. Yeah. Approved by the It is a great day to dig diamonds. Did I just find a diamond? Did you find a diamond? Did I find a diamond? Did you find a diamond? I hope to earn your subscription today. Uh, babe, do you have like a, a card or something oh, we can yeah, use? Probably has a lot of spoons. Do you guys need a spoon? Do you have a spoon? Yeah, but they're in my car. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Spoon, 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 spoon. Um, I'll get a card, yeah. Just uh, one that doesn't have important numbers. Can you please <laughs> show it a little? I'll grab the card. I can try, but I don't think it will. Everyone's getting up their cameras in case it is. Okay, you, you two are machine. Oh, that's so sad. Very, very sad. Yeah. Well, it was a false alarm. No diamond yet. Dan's fault. All my fault, apparently. So I moved from our pit up, up river, up river, sure, up the uh, wash just a little bit. And the gravels don't look great here, but Frank says when they flip, there was a lot of stuff in them. So I'm gonna dig some more from not so good looking ground, and maybe that's what we need. It's a cake, it's a pie. Yum, yum, yum. Nice center, Dan. So when you're flipping these centers, the heaviest stuff definitely goes to the center and on top. And you can see a chunk of iron there, just some random nail or something. A chunk of iron stone, hematite, something like that here. Another one over there. The heaviest stuff definitely ends up top and center. And that's where the diamonds should be. But diamonds aren't quite as heavy as some of this iron and whatnot. And sometimes can migrate out to the edge of the centers. So we make sure that we look all the way around really carefully. Frank just got excited about something. I was pointing out a nice piece, piece of clear quartz to him. He poked the clear quartz out of the way and then, you know, flipped out because he saw something. Let's go see what he saw. I think he's lost it though. I did lose it You'll a little find bit. It. We got a close up cam here. Yep, no good. Oh, another false alarm. Yeah. We'll get one. We we'll better. get one. Dang, I'm sorry, folks. What you see, Polly? Uh, a bird just flew over and it just left this thing here, so I'm having oh. a closer look. Splat. Seafood. Suspicious. Look real close. Look real close. Oh, damn. Well, that was hard enough. <laughs> yeah. I think this is it. Guys, come no. on over. Oh my gosh, let's get the camera. Where? We may here. have a yellow diamond sitting right there you see what i'm looking at i don't you I don't see a little bit i see a yellow gemstone and i haven't seen a yellow gemstone here yet and i know there are yellow diamonds at the crater so is this a yellow diamond i don't think so oh, oh. no let's take that out of the video yeah. <laughs> ah. Okay, they're saying no. They're saying I'm overreacting for nothing. <laughs> These losers. <laughs> but this is the first yellow gemstone I've seen here so far. <laughs> yellow gemstone of some sort. Da. Well, another false alarm. We will get one. We will. Right, Frank? That's exactly right. Or yeah. two. Well, I just had a flip and something off on the edge of the center really sh shone bright. It was brighter than anything I've seen yet. I've called Frank over to see what he thinks and he's kind of humming and hawing right now, thinking it might be. Let me get out of it, it's right, Let me get out of this right there, but I'm gonna get my close-up oh. camera to take a shot of it. It could just be a very polished piece of quartz, but it is bright and so is Polly. It definitely looks like a diamond, that's for sure. We are so excited here. This might be our first diamond. Frank is just going in there with his camera right now to get a really close up of it to see if he can see the shape of it. The shape will tell us for sure because the quartz here will have very sharp edges where the diamonds have quite rounded edges because of the way that they were formed originally and brought up from the earth's core. They end up with quite rounded edges where the quartz here is all shattered, it's fragments, it's sharp edges. So we're trying to get a close look at it. You see a point. Like, yeah, put your finger where right is it? by it. Where are we looking at? Right here. There it is. Oh, that's looking quartz, isn't it? It's so hard to say. 
Yeah, this isn't showing up as good as I thought. Me... Oh, what I saw there looked like a quartz crystal. It did. Yep. Still exciting. Still, <laughs> still <laughs> exciting. And we're not going to just leave it because we're going to pull it out of there and to make sure. But yeah. woohoo. So there it is right there in the very center of your screen. Uh, that one point off on the left hand side really is telling me it's just a point of a quartz crystal. Unfortunately. We still don't know fully though. Nope, we won't know for sure until we pull it out of there and have a good look at it. A good taste. <laughs> it's brighter than everything else though. That might be, I don't know. Look at it there. And get it out real slow. Real slow and careful. Look at that, right on the end of your knife. So we're pretty sure now that's just a piece of quartz. Unfortunately, we'll get it tested at all the same, but we're thinking that's quartz. Let's get back to finding the diamond. Yeah. It's hard in your way. There we go. And right in the middle. See, this is what a diamond would really look like if you can. Does it shine? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. That's a piece of mica, though, isn't it? Yeah, but that's like kind of a, a um, similar effect. They'll look like that. You can't actually see through them, but they just really reflect. Nothing. All right. Nothing, honey. Unfortunately, it is what it is. You're steaming, Dan. I can see you steaming. My butt up in the air like that. My shirt steam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way these centers look. Though. Cause if you get those heavies, that's like heavy heavies. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Instead of just like tinies, that's still better. But this is like, ooh, really good. All right, get, get back to digging. Get back to digging. A diamond. Beautiful flip. So you were digging. I am, but I'm, <laughs> I don't have to right this second. <laughs> They're not caught up. I can fill them faster than I can screen them. Oh, that was a terrible flip. Ooh. Ah. Oh. So they're letting the guy with the absolute worst eyesight look for the diamonds. <laughs> no, we go through all this again and have the people that I can actually see look for the diamonds. I'm just hoping I see one right on top that even my poor eyes can tell is a diamond. I have good vision. I have crappy vision. I have bifocal, so I have to look through the bottom of my glasses. Dan showed me a trick how to get it even more to the center. Either I'm gonna do this right, or you explained it wrong. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> it's all your fault. Much better flip too. Oh wow, Much yeah. better flip. Dan knows what he's talking about. Uh, something I've seen you do on, on a lot of your flips so far, not that one, that was awesome, is when you flipped, the back edge hit just slightly before uh, the front. Oh, so then it falls rather yeah. than... Yeah. Okay. But that was a perfect flip. Let's get the camera in on this, because you can see it's a perfect center, and everything is a nice, perfect cake. This isn't completely centered, but it is a nice, tighter thing. So yeah, Dan's gem sieving for his garnets definitely makes a difference. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Beautiful flip. Mm, not the nice center, though. Could have done better on that center. It don't matter if there's a diamond, there's a diamond. Right? Yep. Kind of like a hoe down, but a... More hooting. <laughs> oh, you better get back to shifting, buddy. Boy. I will. I just saw something in here. That's why I'm wanting to watch. You need a break? It's so hard in the back, isn't it? Yeah, I pretend I'm looking, but I'm really just resting my eyes. Um, and for actually all of it. Ooh. Oh, oh, denied. Let's yeah. do it again. <laughs> That's it's not still bad. there, though. Uh, it, it landed just, okay. It, wasn't it landed flat. on my hand. Hey, diamond. Good flip. Good flip.
So this is the last gem sieve of the day. And then we have to go and reconcentrate all of our concentrates to make them ultra concentrates. And that's where we're going to find the diamond. Here we go. Unless I'm lucky enough to find one on top. Oh, look at that center. Yeah. That is huge. Okay. And now, are we lucky enough to find one on top in the last one of the day? Hmm? It happens. It happens. But really, where we're really gonna find those diamonds is when we go through that bucket right there that has all of our concentrates in it. That's gonna be the woohoo of the day. Okay, don't see anything on top. Frank wants to check out that my bad eyes didn't miss something, because you know, I'm old, I can't see nothing. My eyes are so bad that I think Frank looks good. <laughs> That's pretty bad. All right, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oof. That is one full bucket. Awesome. That's yeah, not going to that, work. That'll look really no, nice in the video, like hiding that. Yeah. All right. Now, unfortunately, it's too deep in there, but Frank thinks okay. he sees... Oh, maybe right there. That's what he's looking at. Whoa. It might be a spinel, it might be a garnet, it might be a brown diamond. You can't quite tell until it dries out a bit more, but see how shiny it is compared to everything around it? And that other thing you see there is an earring back. <laughs> Here comes Frank for the first of the reconcentrates. The recons. The recons. I think we should be able to fit them all and let them dry. Just gotta... These will just literally let dry and then look at them after they dry. So we're not distracted. Oh yeah. The centers will be a lot bigger in these just because they're already concentrated material. Frank is an expert, that's for sure. Getting perfect centers every time, even with that highly concentrated material. There may be a diamond staring back at us right now. Now, Frank and Kendall say that once everything's dried like this, you'll really be able to see the diamonds because they reflect even after they have dried out. They're shiny. I see one thing in here that's shiny. Where'd it go? Right over here. I see one thing, but it sure still looks like a piece of quartz, not a diamond. It seems shinier than the rest, but it still just looks like a piece of quartz. Did you turn the lab off? Yeah. Okay. So here inside the main office, they do have quite a nice display. This diamond ring was made from a diamond that was found here at the Crater of Diamonds State Park. Beautiful. And the main office pavilion here also has a great display explaining all about diamonds, all about the history of this place, everything you might want to know. It's kind of like a little bit of a diamond museum here. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And there's a great display here showing the diamonds that are actually found in the state park here. The yellow, white, and brown. And these just compare them to what industrial diamonds look like. But these three are what are actually found in the park. We are back here at the miners camp uh, to do our final cleanup to see if we found a diamond or not. But Jim here has one that he has found at the Crater of Diamonds State Park and he's showing it to us. It's a big one. Let's have a look. Now this is not one we found today. This is Jim's. He's showing us what we're looking for. And this one I get the close up of, unlike the ones I saw in the shop there. Now this is a 38 point yellow diamond from the crater. We're hoping that we find something at least that big. <laughs> no, like a 10th of that size would be fantastic. So Frank yep. now is classifying our ultra concentrated cons here down to eighth plus and eighth minus because for the final flip to really find those diamonds it really helps if all the material is roughly the same size so we'll have the bigs and the smalls and hopefully well hopefully we find one in the bigs of course we would like that but most likely in the eighth minus the small stuff is where we will find that diamond let's hope
We have the 8th inch plus in two Soroka piles with really nice centers. Frank is making the 8th inch minus right now. This is going to look crazy. And we are keeping our fingers crossed. Whoa! Woo. That's a lot of Whoa, quartz. what a center. Look at that quartz. Look at that diamond. That's what you're supposed to say. Look at the cheese. Wow. Look at that face. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's talking to me. Now, before I get on to showing you the treasures from the Crater of Diamonds, I'm back home here in Canada. As you can see, it is the middle of winter out here. If you're wondering where all the gold videos are, I can't find gold in that. There are more gold videos coming very soon though. I had the most amazing trip down to Arkansas. The crystals, the treasures I found down there were out of this world. But the best part of that whole trip were those amazing, amazing people I got to hang out with. All those other YouTubers out there, Polly, the camping couple, the crystal collector, rocks for the spirit, crystals of Arkansas, and don't forget Jake from D Almighty. We had so many great adventures. I had so much fun and I made so many new friends. The people at Avant Mining who hosted us, the miners there, the people in the office, everyone from Avant Mining was so gracious to all of us. And, you know, I have to send out a huge thanks to Brian the Crystal Collector for getting us all together and our host for this trip. Who doesn't like being on camera? But James Egris from Avant Mining was so gracious to us. He was the best host possible. Thanks everyone. I loved meeting you. Let's do it again. Now, on to the treasures from the Crater of Diamonds. Well, unfortunately, my plane trip was scheduled, and before the treasures were discovered, I had to head home. As I was flying home on the plane, that camping couple, and joined by the Crystal Collector, went back for another couple days digging, and they found three diamonds as I was heading home. C'est la vie. That's life. You know, I didn't get to find the diamonds myself, but my friends did just after I left. And of course they were excited. I'm excited for them. But that's, you know, the reality of mining and prospecting. You don't always come up with it yourself. But in this case, my friends did. And I'm sure they were very happy with their finds. They found three. That camping couple found two. Brian the Crystal Collector found one. It was amazing, but I wasn't there for it. Anyhow, one quick last time warp back to the Crater of Diamonds to say goodbye. What an epic day at the Crater of Diamonds State Park. We had so much fun here. These people are the freaking best to hang out with. I absolutely love the camping couple. They are awesome. If you haven't checked out their channel, you have to check out the camping couple's channel. I am demanding it right now because they are amazing. I hope you enjoyed our adventure out here. I had the best day ever. If you did enjoy the video, please leave me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I hope I've earned your subscription. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Heard Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day. And until the next adventure, bye. See y'all later. <laughs> bye guys, thanks for hanging out with us. See you later. Say bye back. See ya. <laughs>